Now this lecture aims to illustrate why it's important to be aware of the different um, levels of activities and how to decide whether something, uh, a specific cost needs to be allocated to a product or not in our decision making or profitability analysis. So picture two different products. We have pro product A and product B. Product A earns a contribution per unit of 100 and B earns a contribution of 40 per unit. Uh, we manufacture a thousand units of A per year and a thousand units of B per year. And let's say we only have one uh, manufacturing overhead or fixed cost um, factory rental. And that equates to 100,000 per year. And now the, the we're going to do a profitability analysis of our products, our product A and B, to see whether they are both profitable. Um, if we find that one of the products are not profitable, we would want to discontinue that product. It doesn't make sense to, to sell a product that is not profitable. So it's for decision-making purposes that we're going to do this profitability analysis. And the only overhead that we have here to allocate is our factory rental, and we need to decide are we going to allocate it or not. So this example is to illustrate um, how do we make that decision. So in order to allocate factory rental, we need to find an allocation base. So let's assume uh, we're going to use units. So 1,000 units plus 1,000 units. So total we have 2,000 units. So our allocation rate would be 100,000, the cost, divided by the total units, 2,000. And that will give us a cost per unit or a rate. That's our allocation rate for this cost pool. We only have one cost pool of 50 per unit. So let's calculate the profit per unit. So for A, we'll have a contribution per unit of 100 and then factory rental per unit of 50. So our profit per unit will be 50. So A is profitable and we would be happy to keep on selling product A. Let's look at product B's profit. So we've got a contribution of 40 per unit. We allocate the 50 per unit of factory rental it's a manufacturing cost so we allocate it and now we see b makes a loss of 10 per unit so it's a loss making and we don't want to sell any product at loss so we decide to discontinue product b now if you think of financial accounting we have to allocate fixed manufacturing overheads it's part of ifrs or financial reporting standards so Product B would show a loss of 10 per unit uh, if we take all the manufacturing costs into account. And based on this decision, our activity-based costing or our, so we, our overhead allocation, our profitability analysis, we found that Product B is unprofitable. So we wanted to discontinue Product B in, in the hopes of increasing our company's overall profitability. Now let's just see what happens if we do, if we do make this decision. So first, let's calculate the profit for A and B. So uh, profit would be total contribution. So contribution of A would be a hundred times a thousand, so that's a hundred thousand. And B would be 40 times a thousand, that's 40,000. So 100,000 plus 40,000 equals total contribution of 140,000. That's contribution, so we deduct our factory rental, that's our only fixed cost. That's 100,000 for the year, and we're left with a profit of 40,000. That's if we sell A and B. Now let's see what happens to our total profit if we discontinue product B. So new profit without B equals contribution. So our total contribution will now consist of only the contribution of A. We don't have product B anymore, so that's 100,000. Less factory rental of 100,000. We drop product B, but we can't not have the factory anymore because we still need to make product A. 
So suddenly we don't have a profit anymore. Our profit is here. So we actually lost 40,000 by dropping product B. And where did that come from? That was the contribution of product B. So factory rental cannot be saved if we drop a specific product. So if we drop one product or product line, factory rental is a facility sustaining cost. And facility sustaining costs should not be allocated to products um, since that cost cannot be saved if the product is discontinued. And that is how you decide whether a cost should be allocated or not. If the cost will not change um, if a product is discontinued or a product line is discontinued, then you don't allocate it because it's not relevant for that specific decision. And um, even though financial accounting requires us to allocate it for inventory reporting pur purposes or inventory valuation purposes for decision making, since it's um, not going to influence the decision um, or if, since it cannot be saved uh, based on the outcome of the decision, we don't, don't allocate it um, when we do activity-based costing.